lovers welcome to rooted in music tv where everything that we talk about everything that we discuss is rooted in music i got another bomb episode for y'all but before i begin y'all hit that like button subscribe button that share button that notification bell pass me around pass me around facebook instagram and all other social media platforms and y'all know how i feel about my chizzing if you guys like to support the channel cash app dollar sign might be us also Check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. 50 Cent is being messy. Once again, trolling Diddy to death. Uh, he's not going to let us. He's putting all kinds of pressure on Diddy. And Diddy's recent uh, SA allegations is according to Unilad. U-N-I-L-A-D, Unilad.com. 50 Cent savagely trolls Diddy after his homes get raided by federal agents amid allegations. Two properties belonging to Sean Diddy Combs in Los Angeles and Miami were raided by federal Homeland Security investigation agents. Woo! This is what 50 Cent had to say. Um... It's not clear Combs himself was the target of the investigation. Police set up a cordon around the Los Angeles home located in the uh, Homby Hills neighborhood near to Beverly Hills. A helicopter video from KABC TV showed agents wearing vests from Homeland Security Investigations gathered near the pool in the property's backyard. Homeland Security Investigations said in a statement that it had executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from the HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. Damn! Woo! After the raid, 50 Cent took to Instagram to troll Diddy Combs in a post. Now, it's not Diddy to do it, it's Diddy done. The rapper posted along with a shrugging emoji. He added, they don't come like that unless they got a case. Combs has denied allegations, including that he S.A. a 17-year-old girl in a recording studio in 2003. In a statement in December, Combs says, Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. This is Diddy talking. I did not do any of these awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. The raid comes one month following music producer Rodney Little. His name is Rodney Jones, a.k.a. Lil Rod, filed a lawsuit in Manhattan Federal Court in which he alleged that Combs drug, threatened, and S.A.'d him. Uh, if you guys want to check out the rest of this article, Unilad.com. Y'all like my opinion. Y'all want my opinion? Y'all want some of this Rooted in Music TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Before I get to 50 Cent, I want to, I want to touch on Lil Rod real quick. I want to touch. Now, I ain't saying Diddy is guilty. I ain't saying he's innocent. But when I, what, what I do want to say is Lil Rod is a grown man. A grown man. Lil Rod, at the time that this happened, he said he was a grown man. Anytime a man, unless you're just a, a scary man. Now, are there scary men in the world? Yes. Even with that being said, you're still a man. And if any man comes against you to try to violence, you have instincts. God gave us instincts and the will to fight. You just chose not to. If Diddy is doing with the things that you're saying that he's doing, he's rubbing up on you. Diddy try to kiss up on you. Yeah, take that, take that. He's trying to do all these hor horrific things, trying to drug you. He's going after your butt. And you as a grown man, it's different when you a, a child, teenager, child, you know, you don't know how to approach adults. And this is why a lot of uh, predators, they get away because they know that children, a child's mind is always taught to respect 
elders, respect your elders, respect grown folks. Don't you talk back to grown folks. You got to respect your teacher. You got to respect the doctor. You got to respect mom and dad. So in the world of children, they don't really know how to communicate with uh, adults in a way, especially when something, uh, just on a day-to-day basis, they don't know how to communicate because their brains are developing, but every, you gotta, you gotta remember all throughout the day, they're being told what to do, what to do, respect adults, you gotta go to school, respect mom, respect, you gotta listen, listen to these big people, right, talking about little ones, five, six, seven, you gotta listen to these big people, and a predator comes along and says, don't you tell anybody what happens, they put the fear in a little one, right? So that's uh, entirely different. How you let another man put the, a fear in you and he's coming after your butt? One would have to ask, uh, how did that happen? If a man put any pressure on me, it's in me to do catastrophic damage. It's in all men. I believe it's in all men. A lot of men just choose not to uh, adhere to their God-given instincts to do some damage. This grown man, because I heard there's another article where he said he's trying to get into the music industry and he had to go through Diddy. So you wanted, in, in my opinion, he wanted it, but then he didn't realize how far Diddy was going to go with it. Now, Lil Rod, I don't know where this guy come from. You a grown man, you letting Diddy or any man Try to handle you and try to get to your butt. Come on, bro. Stop. You wanted it. I don't know. My personal opinion, you wanted it, but I think it's got too much for him. I believe Lil Rob wanted it, but it's got too much. You're a grown man. Grown. Uh, Let's see. 50 Cent. I thought 50 Cent was just trolling. Just to tr- No, I, fi- I believe 50 Cent can't stand Puff Daddy. 50 Cent will not let up off the gas. When it comes to Puff Daddy, when it comes to especially anybody from New York, there's a lot of people in New York. Fifty Cent doesn't like his his uh, ops on the street, Supreme and all them uh, industry dudes, uh, Fat Joe, Jay Z, Puff Daddy, Ja Rule. I mean, Fifty Cent. There's there's a deep rooted animosity with them boys out there in New York. A deep rooted and a uh, yeah deep rooted animosity. Toward them boys in New York. Them New York boys are some of the most corrupt. <laughs> some of the most corrupt out there. They all come from that element. They all around the same. I think 50 Cent is younger than all them. Yeah, 50 Cent, Jay Z, uh, Puff, uh, or I think Ja Rule is, I think a little bit younger than 50. But they all close to that age age range, give or take a few years, but. Them boys in New York have a certain disdain. 50 Cent. I remember when he lost his show, uh, Revolt. He had to sell Revolt. 50 Cent said, sell it to me. 50 Cent was giving him legal advice, giving Puff Daddy legal advice so he could maneuver through these uh, legal trenches. So he could maneuver through these legal trenches. This is absolutely crazy. This, anytime (laughs) there is a show... Where Puff Daddy fell on his ass. Anytime uh, 50 Cent get an opportunity to clown Puff, he gonna do it. There was a he was Puff Daddy was doing the show and he fell. 50 Cent hops on uh, on IG talking about the best part of the show was when Puffy bust his ass. The man fell in front of thousands and 50 Cent could get enough. He said, that was the best part of the show. <laughs> that was the best part of the show. 50 Cent has such a disdain for Puff Daddy. This is something about this man 50 Cent cannot stand. <laughs> I mean, even his rap song, he said, I run the city and I don't dance around like Diddy. Legend has it that Puffy was going to sign uh, 50 Cent. I guess the deal went bad. I think that's where the beef uh, started. 50 Cent was going to sign with Puff, but uh, Puff turned him down. Or 50 Cent turned the deal down. Or... And because he turned into there was something in that deal, I guess 50 Cent felt like Puff tried to screw him. So maybe that's what sparked it. it but 50 Cent was supposed to sign with Bad Boys. That's where it all started. But y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about Lil Rod, grown man, not doing anything with another man trying to come after his butt? And what do you guys think about 50 Cent trolling Puff Daddy 
in his time of disparity, in his time of embarrassment, when he's at the lowest in his life, 250 capital G, root to the music TV, I'm gone.